James here for TFB TV. We're at the Ruger tent, of course, SHOT Show Media Day. I'm talking with Brandon, product manager for Ruger, and he's going to tell us what's new for SHOT. Brandon? Great. Well, we've got a whole table full of stuff here to show you. This is all pretty much new, new product. We uh, introduced the uh, Match Champion last year at SHOT Show. This year we introduced the, the uh, gun with uh, target match sights. Uh, this has an extended hog grip. We got a uh, tapered cylinder on there. It has a, a factory trigger job, and also you're going to get the uh, target crown and the slab-sided barrel. Uh, another new product for this year. This is the uh, 2245 light. Again, expanding on the 2245 family. The light has an aluminum upper receiver. This one's going to come with a Picatinny rail. It's anodized blue, and it has kind of a shark gill look to it to the front where we've uh, ventilated the, uh, the barrel. Also has a threaded barrel. These are very popular. You can put a lot of accessories on these uh, and adjustable sights. This is one of my uh, absolute favorites right here. Uh, this is the new lightweight 1911 Commander. Uh, this has an aluminum frame. It's seven ounces less than the standard Commander. Has thin, uh, extra thin grips for concealment. It has a serrated uh, front edge here. What's really unique about this gun is it has a titanium feed ramp. There's really nothing else on the market that's like it, but the titanium feed ramp is going to last forever. It's not going to get battered by those hollow point rounds. These are a couple of exciting new revolvers out here. The LCR, this is the 3-inch LCR-X. The X gives you the exposed hammer, so you have the option of a single-action trigger pull or a double-action trigger pull. In the 3-inch model, uh, we have adjustable sights, and this is in 38 plus P. It also has a, a large Hogue grip tamer on there. The full-size grip really fills your hand. It's a great gun for a backpack or a tackle box. This is also an LCR. It's our, our lightweight carry revolver. This one has the compact grip for concealment. It's a double action only trigger pull. And this has a nine millimeter Luger chambering. So the nine millimeter ammunition is a little bit less expensive. It's more available. It comes with full moon clips so that you can load and eject the non-rimmed casings. This is also an exciting little gun here. This is the uh, LCP Custom. LCP's been around for a number of years. It's a very concealable, lightweight backup gun in 380. We added some custom features to it this year. We gave it a photoluminescent front sight and a drift adjustable rear sight. Also has polished sides, a polished stainless steel guide rod in the, in the front, and also a wide, flat aluminum trigger uh, that makes it, it gives it a very distinctive look. The, the size, uh, oversized trigger makes it more comfortable and gives it a better trigger pull. Okay, the LC9S. This is the, uh, the LC9. We've had these available for a number of years. The S is the striker version. We just brought this out earlier this year. So in the striker version, it's the same gun, fits the same accessories, uses the same magazines, but it has a short, crisp, five and a half pound trigger. Uh, this has uh, three dot windage adjustable sights, a manual safety, and magazine disconnect. It's also available in a pro version without the magazine safety uh, and without the uh, manual external safety. So it's a fun little gun on the uh, on the single action side. This is the uh, Bearcat 22 caliber uh, single action, and uh, just just a fun little plinking gun, very western style. But you've got the adjustable target sights out there, so when you're out plinking, you can hit what you're aiming at and have a really good time. So, Brandon, I'm sitting here looking at your table, and I pick okay. up this hunk of plastic. What is this? What am I looking at here? This is really cool. This is the uh, the BX trigger, and it comes with the plastic so you can actually dry fire it and see how it feels in the store. Uh, this is a drop-in trigger grouping for the 1022s. Now there's you know millions of those out there and uh, it comes standard with a really nice six pound trigger but this is uh, about a two and three quarter two and a half pound drop-in trigger and it really just takes two pins you take out the entire trigger grouping you put those pins back in you're ready to roll and now Brandon let me ask you a personal question sure of the Ruger lineup what are you most excited about um, well, I think uh, two things here. Probably the LCP Custom, which is just a great backup gun. 
and then also this uh, this 1911 Commander. Lightweight Commander is a great carry gun right there. And that sounds very innovative, the titanium feed ramps, the lightning of it. Yep. Uh, it seems like a cool gun. I think I'm going to give it a few rounds and, uh, and, and tell everybody how it shoots. All right, let's take Thanks it to the lot. range. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Next up, we've got Ruger's new lightweight 1911. It's got the titanium feed ramp, the aluminum frame, very lightweight for 1911. Uh, let's give it a shot. Shoots great. Lighter weight, gives it a little bit more kick, but again, manageable. The trigger, excellent on this thing. Great gun.